Hi guys, uh, Coach Chase here coming at you day 25 of Masters Hammer and Chisel. Um, it is also December 31st, so we're on New Year's Eve, about to go 2015 to 2016. It's also a rest day for Masters uh, Hammer and Chisel, so that kind of brings a whole lot of things together. Um, I want to talk to you real quickly about, just real briefly, take a few minutes of your time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for continuing to watch um, these reviews and sending me your comments and your messages. They mean the world to me. Um, Real quickly, you know, as you know, if you've been following on rest days, it's it's my day. I recommend you stop and do inventory. Go back through your worksheets. Uh, go back through your progress. Um, go go do your measurements and your pictures and check out your results. Um, Reevaluate your nutrition. You know, whatever whatever you need to do. Don't don't step away from the program just because it's a rest day. Stay with the program. Stay with the momentum. Stay with the habit of being in this program. But but do your inventory. Check your progress. Find out what's going on. Find out where you need to tweak something to make it better. Find out where you can do more. Find out where you're already doing better, where you're already doing more, and celebrate that. Celebrate those small victories. Celebrate those milestones that you're doing. Um, we're almost halfway through. This is week four. It's only eight week program, so we're almost halfway through. So it's a really great time to really assess, am I pushing? Am I doing enough? Am I really bringing it? Am I chickening out, you know? Um, am I really doing well with my, my nutrition because it was during the holidays or, or maybe it was just, you know, um, your, somebody brought your favorite dessert over or they had donuts at the office or, you know, how are you really doing? And celebrate the victories. Celebrating the victories are always so important. It's real easy to fall into the, what I haven't done right, what I haven't accomplished, how far I have to go. It's, it's, that's the easy part. That's the simple, that's, you know, anybody can do that. It takes a little thought process to remind yourself, okay, let's sit down and chart. What have we really accomplished? What have we really done? Because that's where your motivation comes from. That's what puts the fire in your belly to do more, to do better, um, to keep going because you are seeing results. You are getting things done. So stay with that. The fact that it's New Year's Eve, I'm going to challenge you to not only do that with your workout program, Master's Hammer and Chisel. I'm going to challenge you to do that tonight, today, tomorrow, at some point. Reevaluate all of 2015. What did you do right? What did you accomplish? What did you do well? What have you not even sat down and thought about? Oh my gosh, look what I did here, here, and here. And look how this, this, and this worked out. And, and what about you know the, the small tragedies and setbacks? What did they really turn into later? Take the time to, you know, not just celebrate, you know, because it's party time and New Year's, but celebrate the reasons to celebrate the things you've accomplished and the things that you've done well this year that may cause you to readjust your goals for next year and it will definitely give you a better vision for what you've done and a better vision for what's to come and that's the important thing so stay with it check it out celebrate the victories keep pushing play i'll see you tomorrow